Guess what's back? <laughs> back again. Ruby's back. So, Dad took a uh, van over to get the uh, rest of the summer tires mounted after the flat tire incident. Got the summer tires mounted up, and he calls me and he goes, Hey, um, it sounds like I still got my snow tires on. Which, as we learned before, Dad doesn't exactly have the greatest hearing, so if he can hear it, it must be bad. So both rear wheel bearings are bad. The right one's super bad, and the left one is making noise also. And I figured if we're gonna have the wheels off, we might as well go ahead and replace those bad rear shocks while we're in there. So more fun in the garage. Okay, so got the wheel off, and it looks like um, these are a bolt-in style wheel bearing, which uh, be hard to show you. Um, but basically there's four bolts that are holding the wheel bearing to the axle beam. So we're gonna have to remove the rear brake calipers, rotors, and then get in there, remove the bolts that are going into the back of that wheel bearing and try to knock it out. So hopefully not too big a deal. Um, here's the new bearing here. You can see there's threaded holes. Oh, the anti-lock brake um, signal wire. We'll have to make sure we unplug that and rerun it. So yeah, we'll see how she goes. Hopefully not too bad, but it is like close to 180,000 miles and they're original. So time will tell. So a couple of 18 millimeter headed bolts on the back of that brake caliper held it into position. Um, you know, some of you will say, I, I, these calipers have the emergency brake cable on them. So they kind of sit on that. It, there's not much pressure on the hose. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, but yeah, we disconnected the analog brake line from some of its clips here. We'll get that unplugged. And then um, we'll get to the bolts that are on the back of the actual bearing. So fun, fun. Let's keep plugging away. Okay. So there were four 16 millimeter headed or five eighths, I guess, bolts on the back side of that bearing. I was able to get to the top two with just my deep well socket. And then I added a ex short extension and was able to get the bottom two as the axle tube actually has this taper to it and there are holes right in the back where you can get through. Got those off, took a few good wax with the small sledgehammer here, knocked the bearing outward, so swinging from inside the wheel well, knocking the bearing outward and we got it loose. I got to undo, um, I still haven't unplugged the ABS sensor from underneath. I got to slide under there, unplug it, and one last clip here that's holding it, and then we can uh, get to work on putting the new one on. All right, so there we go, just that easy. Got underneath there. Um, there, the plugs that plug into these on the car side have a little red lock on them, so. Little tiny flat screwdriver was able to pry the red lock and then squeeze it and had to work them back and forth to get them apart because of course they've been under the car for 10 years and there's dirt and crud in them and stuff. So, but I was able to pull them apart, just had to wiggle and squeeze and pry and finally got them to pop. So now I gotta run that anti-lock brake wire through the brake disc here and make sure we run the new one through the brake, brake disc backing plate. And uh, yeah, just that easy. Put the new one on here and put it all back together. And then, uh, yeah, repeat on the other side. Okay, so uh, while we were in here, we're doing those shocks, like I had said. So I don't know if it's just our van or if all the vans are this way, we just got lucky. But um, 18 millimeter in the top bolt, 19 millimeter in the bottom bolt. Brake caliper is a 13 and an 18, but the wheel bearing was a 16. God, I hate working on Dodges. All right, the second side's going a lot like the first. 
I had disconnected the ABS wire while I was under there doing it. I did them both since they're kind of located centrally under the vehicle. And this one just popped apart. About to put it back together with the new bearing. So far so good. Did run into a problem with the upper shock bolt on the other side, broke off. Had to drill it out. Gonna have to go get a bolt tomorrow and we'll get that new shock put all the rest of the way in there. Hopefully this side goes a little better. All right, so finally, just a few hours of choice words later, we got it all put back together. So when your shock bolt breaks off and you got to drill it out and you got to try and get a nut in there and stuff, it was right next to impossible. It was horrible. It took two of us quite a while to even get it finally. Um, got underneath there, plugged our anti-lock brake sensors back in, make sure they're clipped into their harnesses everywhere. So they stay away from the exhaust system and moving suspension parts. The wheels all, everything's tightened up, bolted up. We're going to take it for a ride and make sure that it's quiet again. All right. Just taking the old test drive and Ruby's back to quiet, just like it's supposed to be. It's been a little more enjoyable trip for him back and forth to Florida like this. It's nice and smooth. Not making a bunch of racket. Not too bad.